Good morning, Raiders. I'm Kate. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Brenda. And here are your daily announcements. Seniors, make sure you turn in your senior picture to the guidance office as soon as you have it. Locker rooms, please lock up or take your items home on Thursday as all four locker rooms will be used on Friday and Saturday for the district wrestling tournament. Lost and found, there are two big bags of clothing, shoes, towels, etc. in the high school office from the locker rooms. If you are missing any items, please come and check the lost and found. Unclaimed items will be given away at the end of the week. Attention juniors, the American Legion is excited to announce that the 2016 Girls and Boys State applications are available. Stop by the guidance office for information on this great opportunity. And here's Rachel with your sports news. Hey guys, first up, the Sacramento Kings will keep George Carl as their head coach despite several reports that he could be fired during the NBA All-Star break. Kings general manager Vlade Divac said in a statement released Tuesday that Carl would not be dismissed. Divac called Carl while the coach was at lunch in Philadelphia on Tuesday. Divac told Carl in a roughly five minute conversation that they would work together and that better defense was needed. Carl took the lunchtime call privately with the expectation that he would be fired. Next up, Cam Newton wasn't so chatty after losing the Super Bowl on Sunday night. Walking away from the podium before his <coughs> post-game press conference had concluded. The 24-10 loss in the Super Bowl 50 was certainly not a good look for Newton, but walking off wasn't a great idea either. That sparked this joke by Conan O'Brien about Newton's antics. Cam Newton, more like Big Newton. O'Brien said on his Monday night show on TBS, well, needless to say, that joke didn't go over well. The late night star then held his own post-joke press conference and channeled his inner Newton. Tried to do a joke and it didn't work, O'Brien quipped. That's all I have and back to you guys. Spain trip. There will be a meeting tomorrow evening at 6.30 p.m. in the high school commons area for students and parents who have signed up for the Spain trip. We will discuss the next fundraiser and passports. If you have questions, go talk to Mr. Pope. Speech team. All speech team members need to check Google Classroom for your practice times this week and also, um, and also for information on Saturday's speech contest in Kimball. Tomorrow, freshman boys and girls basketball at home versus gearing starting at 4. Girls dismissed at 3. Friday and Monday, there will be no school this Friday and next Monday. Friday, district wrestling at home starting at 4. Friday night, boys and girls varsity and JV basketball at Shadron starting at 4. Saturday, district wrestling continues at home starting at 9. Also Saturday, varsity boys basketball at Heartland Classic in Grand Island versus Hastings St. Cecilia starting at 545 Central. And here is Brenda <coughs> with your news. Good morning everyone and here is your world news for today. First up, solar. The world's largest solar plant, now live in Morocco, will eventually provide 1.1 million people with power and cut carbon emissions by 760,000 tons, tons a year. The 9 billion NOR concentrated solar power plant could eventually start exporting energy to the European market. The plant is located in the Sous -Dra Mas Dra area of Morocco. It began operation last Thursday. The plant will be able to store ener solar energy in the form of molten salt, which will allow for the production of electricity even at night. Next up, calculus. Of the 302,532 students who took an advanced placement test to gauge their performance in college-level calculus last May, exactly 66,045 got the highest grade on the exam, exam's five-point scale. To score a five is a notable accomplishment, but just 12 students worldwide managed an extremely rare feat. They aced the AP exam, known as Calculus AB, <clears throat> getting every answer correct on a test lasting 3 hours and 15 minutes. Meet one of the elite dozen, Landon Lobskis of Aldi, Virginia. He is 15, but he's 15 now, but he was 14 and a sophomore when he took the exam, scoring a perfect 108 of 108 on the test. That's all I have for you today. Uh, have a great day and back over to you guys. And your lunch today is mac sticks, cheese enchiladas, crab salad sandwich, green beans, peaches, and milk. The more you know.
Do sea stars have a brain? The nervous system of the sea stars, commonly known as starfish, is very simple. There is no brain and there are not even any ganglia to coordinate movement. The nervous system is characterized by a nerve ring that surrounds the mouth. A radial nerve branches off the nerve ring and extends to each ray, or, or more commonly known as an arm. Well, it looks like at least we know we're smarter than a sea star. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, we'll see you tomorrow.